SET off season one, lower limb one. Starting off with front squats. Remember the cue for this lads, imagine a rope attached to your elbow at one end and a ceiling at the other. So as we squat down, our elbows stay up. Always with a squat pattern, make sure we flex at the hip before we flex at the knee. Keeping the feet nailed to the floor, which you'll see from the next clip. Back nice and straight, someone from behind with a rope attached to your back, pulling you, keeping that back up nice and tall. Now just looking at my feet in this next one, nail to the floor, crushing grapes under your heels, nail to the floor, whatever cue you want to use, just make sure there's no daylight between our feet and the floor. In terms of our depth, we want to go just below parallel. So that hip crease is an inch, half an inch below our knee crease. Next up, Romanian deadlift or ODL. For you lads, obviously, let's load this a little bit with weights for the purpose of the demonstration. I just went with the bar. Remember, hip hinge exercise. So rotate the upper body around those hinges, being our hips. Sticking our arse out to the wall behind us, let the bar right down the legs. Shaving off the legs is the term we use. So don't let that bar travel out away from our body. Walking lunges. They're uh, 15 each side, so ideally you're doing them in a bigger room than I had available to me here. I just got them done in, in the gym and distillery. But ideally you'll walk, say, for 20, 25 meters, get 15 done on each side, okay? Nordics, if you have a glute ham raise machine, brilliant. If not, very easily done with a partner making sure we always maintain that flat line from the knee right up through to our shoulder. So squeezing our glutes and pushing our hips through to maintain that and we're fighting the fall for as long as possible. When we can't fight that fall anymore, just push yourself back up, okay? Don't, don't, don't do a full Nordic. Just do the fall and then push yourself back up. A raised hamstring hip lift is then supersetted with calf raise. So, Raised hamstring hip lift. Raised being that we're gonna be on a bench and it's a hamstring hip lift, so we want our hips out a little bit further than what they usually be. We've got like a 120 degree angle in our leg, okay? So we're activating that hamstring to raise our hips as opposed to the glutes. That is supersetted with a standing calf raise. We can go single or double leg for this. We wanna go with 20 reps each side. Body weight fine, or if we want to plate load it, absolutely fine. Make sure we keep that control and we're getting a good range of motion. Go off a step if you feel you need to increase that range of motion. 